All right, Elk Tears, your deck your deck is on the screen. I want to I want to hear I want to hear what you got to say. Um, listen, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Um, always a pleasure to meet Taylor in the finals. He's a good guy. Kid's got a good head on his shoulders. He always, he always keeps 110. percent Uh, nicest guy in the business. Hardest working guy. If you ask me, he's the two one king. He's that guy who you always want there in the end zone. Always comes so close. Kind of falters at the end, but always a pleasure seeing him here. And uh, yeah, let's have a good clean game. I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. Wow, that's fucked up. Um, <laughs> all right, all right, Taylor, what, what do you uh, sound off? Uh, look, I'm, all I'm going to say is there was no one that can catch me. My style is impetuous. My defenses are impregnable. I'm ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat your children. Praise be to Allah. <laughs> are those pop smoke lyrics? It's Mike Tyson. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I think I think you guys I think you guys are good to to get into your uh, respective uh, voice chats. Okay. Uh, oh man, I should have read the first part no, of the quote. That one's even better. Nothing. Uh, nothing below the belt, and have a good, clean fight. Matt Riley's a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's nobody as ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. Uh, okay, get out of turning chat. What fight is this? Um, I'm Luis Scott Vargas. There's no one like me. I'm from there. <laughs> no one that can catch me. Is it from the fight where he bites the guy's ear off? My drafting is impetuous. That, that was, okay, I'm going to need... Okay. My gameplay is impregnable. Okay. Right, Speaking of gameplay... Jesus. All right, are they gone? All right, I'm leaving. No. Okay, are they gone now? Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Finally. Um... Well, I'm I'm kind of looking forward to this. Uh, I've played Taylor's deck, and it is fucking mean. I played Matt's deck, and he just cast uh, four Inferno Jets on. So that's how he wins. <laughs> is that really? How... Well, it was two separate games. Oh, okay. two Inferno Jets each game, but. I gotta say, Taylor. Taylor like has like such a dorky deck, but it the synergy is, uh, you know, Undenied. as, as, Ty, that, as Tyson would say, the sy the synergy sovereign? is impeccable. So that pride sovereign lurking in there. It's funny because a pride sovereign, ob obviously a bomb. Uh, pride sovereign, obviously a bomb, but I don't know how good. Like it, it kind of just like sucks up his mana where he'd probably be wanting to spend his mana elsewhere, you know. Um, what, what, what happened? He rolled a two. Oh, okay. But when I played Matt, I rolled a two and he rolled a one, so. Uh, let's, let's, can somebody just remind them to use the, uh, the phases and arrows and whatnot? Can somebody hop in their chat? Just to... They can see our chat if we type there, right? Yeah. But, you know, sometimes voice, voice is important. And also that's what the, that's what the two chat system is for, so we can go and inform them of... Of rules breaking and whatnot. Now let's see if uh, let's see if Matt will roll his dice. Oh, there we go. They have been informed. They immediately blamed Rob, which I found funny. But okay. <laughs> when it was just me. Oh yeah, it was definitely me. Uh, okay. I do love phases. Okay, I, I you know I think this is a keep for uh, for this Matt. Is, yeah, yeah. It's not it's not the fastest thing in the world. Why? Okay, I was gonna say why can't we see? Ooh, and I think I think this is also a keep for Taylor. Yeah. Just because he has mm -hmm. the bo both of the Ronis stalwarts. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's got he's got time to find that white. Because like, stalwarts are really good, and he, he would uh, rather play a stalwart turn two than an. Right? Uh, on, on average, I don't know, dude. The the, the, the you know, Catcher's Avenger is a busted card. That card's so good. Well, okay, I guess I guess that's a good point. But like, uh, I, I mean, wouldn't you want a stalwart exert that stalwart the next turn and then put down another stalwart? Like you're kind of keeping that pressure up. Yeah, I guess that's true. I think he wants to curve out here. I think he wants to go turn two. I mean, yeah, obviously, if he draws the white, he's gonna. 
I think you want turn two Avenger, turn two three Avon, turn four Spawn. I mean, that's double just stalwart. disgusting. Oh, double stalwart could be sick too. That's true. Just gonna note that Matt has a desert, and his deck has a lot of desert payoffs. Um, not in the opener, though. Okay. Ooh, let's... white card. Yeah, not what you want to see, but he still has the two stalwarts. He's going to be hitting pretty soon. I would, yeah, I think that's right. The seven drop? Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, you, you, you're... Matt barely needs for the like top end of his deck. Like The top end is really the Inferno team. Yeah, I just don't think I don't think Matt's the one. I mean, looking at his hand right now, he it needs some help, but I don't think he's going to be the one dealing damage anytime soon. Yeah, but he want he needs. No, Matt's. I know, I know, but. Well, I mean, here's the thing: Taylor's going to play a two drop, and then it's going to get put back in his hand. That's true. You really think he's just going to win it for no value? Yeah, I do. Huh. I don't think it's no value for. It is a tempo play, and he gets to he gets to hit. So he gets a ping, and he gets in. He just needs to get Taylor to twelve as fast as possible. He needs to stop drawing lands. Also, <laughs> also a thing that I'm just noticing: saving grace, totally a, a, a counter against uh, Inferno Jet. The cool part about this play is that Taylor can play Ronus as Stalwart, the other one, and Matt would never know. <laughs> That's true. In a real game, he would be able to see which card he pulls if Taylor did move his hand around. Mm. Well, those are two That's good... really good for Taylor. Those are good mills. White. Those are good mills. Although, I guess, arguably, the... The kudu would have been a fine. The kudu on three, yeah. I still think you'd rather have a, a planes than any of these. Anything that's uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, three damage and a handful of lands. Let's see if. Uh... Oof. Not bad. Not bad. Not the worst, but not the worst. I mean, if if Matt doesn't draw anything, which he didn't, I would. I think I would have put the river out. Oh man, he should totally trade here, and he has no idea. Yeah, doubt he. I don't think he will. Although he's thinking about it. Stalwart out thinking about it I like I mean you're either trading the stalwart for a card in his hand or you're trading it for the firebrand I don't know I think yeah I think either is fine right yeah I mean Taylor should be playing for the long game uh, I mean given their hands right like I would assume Matt is trying to cheese this one out because he's just got no action and um, I think Taylor should just be trying to stay as in the game as long as he can right? yeah I don't know that attacking was right there. Uh, I don't like that attack, but I think for Matt, he's, he must just be thinking he needs to just get in all the damage he can now. Cause yeah. This is a weird game. Now. This is a weird game. Cool. Wait, that's not, that card is awesome. And yeah, I mean, having that'll, that that'll, that'll really good. That'll work. <clears throat> Basically, after yeah, the Taylor's in trouble now. Well, is Matt... Matt's got to play it, right? Why would, what would you do instead? I mean, I don't know. Wait, a, wait for a better card, <laughs> but he's got to... I mean, he has to play it. He's got Matt nothing. Just, just mailed him for four. It's a plan. I mean, it's funny, Matt... Uh, Matt went with from uh, having nothing, and now Taylor literally also has nothing unless he draws. Aye, uh, not uh, that. What? Oh wow, brutal! What a bizarre game. This is, this is this is just such a good example of bad guys. Well, it's also just a good example of two decks just absolutely not going off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
this mountain a hot top deck. Do we think that this Sand Strangler could go all the way? Yes. Because again, Matt just needs to get Taylor to 12 and then draw both his Inferno Jets. I mean, I'm just going to point out that even if Taylor were to top deck a Plains right now, one oh. two, two drop per turn is not going to win him the game. Well, he's got the no, he's got the sparring mummy. He would sparring mummy and tap the creature. Uh, strategic planning is good. Strategic planning was very good. It kind of doesn't matter at this point. I, think. I say that, but Taylor can definitely come back. I mean, Taylor can come back. I think the thing is, is Taylor. He's still going to be chill. Like he needs to draw like planes, planes, because he needs to he needs to be able to go like. White spell, green spell next turn, and then double white spell. Oof. That's pretty good. Yikes. That card pummeled me mercilessly over the course of three games. Sort of not the hottest on this board, though, right? Like, I mean, he can still copy the Sand Strangler and, and just have another attacker. Um, yeah, he's got so much land that the two mana cost is inconsequential, right? So he just has a 3-3 three, three until there's something better to copy it with, right? right? Or to copy with it, sorry. Yeah, that's right. And I think, you're, I think your strategy, if you're, if you're Taylor, is you need to get rid of that thing. Because, like, anything... Like, it's, imagine if he plays, tries to play the Dauntless A, then, like... That's going to be a problem. There you go. There we go. So what do you do? Like, what I think... Can you can he play Mummy and Ambuscade? No, right? He's got to play... No, I, I think... That's what I'm saying. I think you Avenger yeah. and Ambuscade. Yeah, I think so that's that right. So that Matt can't uh, get attack with two creatures. Like, yes, you're, it's kind of two-for-one in yourself. But you're more like one point five So Well he can what can he do? He can do He can mummy. I think this well no, I think the pl I think I think Avenger is correct. But I think the play right is you you play Avenger, you wait for him then to Mirage mirror the Avenger or whatever, attack, and then you ambuscate and block. Right? Okay. Right, and then and then you you clear his board, and the next turn you've got you've got plays. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's doing the same thing with Abe. Cause I forgot, Ambuscade's not a fight; it's just a deal damage. It's a deal damage spell, yeah. Dauntless Aven. I guess. I, I guess. I still think you're right. I think you go Avenger because like you're fine losing the Avenger in a block, or you're fine trading with you. It's like you want to keep that Dauntless Aven around. Yeah, yeah, I like the Avenger better there. I mean, who knows if Matt will just try to swing in with both? I guess you can still... The, the Ambuscade gives plus um, plus one, right? So he can... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He can still, he can still kill and block. And, like, no, he can, be, he can kill them both, but... But yeah, you'd rather, you'd rather the Dauntless Aven than the... He's still gonna lose the Aven. Yeah, I think you're right. You don't, you don't bring a bird to a mummy fight. Especially once you get, like, Avon fanbear shenanigans going. Like, that's pretty fucked up. Ooh, yeah, that would be really spicy. Didn't even see that yet. Maybe that's what he has as his plan. I mean, he's still had a relatively healthy life total. And if fanbear comes down, maybe he top decks of planes. Maybe there's something better to do later. Interesting, he copied the Sand Strangler. That's right. what my inclination was. Um, but I guess what I would do in Yeah, that's fine. I think you gotta go I think you gotta trade your your Ambuscade and your Dauntless Aven for two cards. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He I can't take fully agree. Agree. He might be worried that he has some sort of counter or some sort of thing to blow him out, but I think you have to go for it. Well, yeah, he's not. Well, he's not going to block and not go for it, right? So he's going to go for it. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, Matt doesn't have anything, so it's still a game. Path of America Initiate is inter is like a fine card, but it's not going to be better than a yeah. barring mummy and a whatever else. Another. Yeah, I think Taylor can really get back in the driver's seat this one. Yeah, he really does need to hold on to that saving grace, though. If uh, if Matt tries to snipe him with that Inferno Jet. Well, does Taylor know about the Inferno Jet? I don't actually know. I mean, if he doesn't, he'll find out, right? Fuck around and find out about my Inferno Jet. <laughs> okay. It's happening. That's, it's happening. Yeah, that's He's the, doing the thing! I mean, that's, that's, the, that's absolutely the play. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this game actually targets your creature. Are you targeting the Sand Strangler? Can't invalid play. Should I start invalid play? In chat. Yeah, hop into the I, chat. I, I, let him yeah. know. Let him know. Okay. What do you? Th what do we think? Of? Is, is Matt bluffing something? Yeah. Matt's like uh... Matt, is, Matt is currently talking out of his ass right now. <laughs> What are these arrows? Oh, okay. What's up? Oh, the arrows. Like, these are correct arrows. These are correct arrows. Yes, these are correct arrows. Um, he was telling me and Taylor that when he plays, uh, what is it? What's the reclamation deck in Pioneer? Teamer, Teamer wreck. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Um, that he's won at least four games. Nothing in hand. Dead on board by bluffing uh, Expansion Explosion. Like, he taps a blue and a red to start, and then just starts tapping all his mana, and his opponent can see it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What could that's possibly funny. be happening right now? Do you think Matt is repping some, like, like that he's considering something here? <sighs> or do you think it's Taylor that's holding this No, up? it's like, gotta be Matt. So Matt's just like, hmm, do I counter this? Yeah, and he's right. and he's really just thinking, do I pop my if you right. rivulet? Do I get new rivulet in response? <laughs> yeah, that would be a uh, sick play, because that puts Taylor at an even 20 cards in library. <laughs> yeah. You know. In the, in the damage game, uh, Matt's winning, but in the card game, Taylor's winning, so... And magic is a game of cards. Magic is a game of cards. Usually, the person with the more with more cards wins in the end. But what could strategic planning is a feature? Can, quick question. Can, okay, hold on. I'm gonna pop in. Um, actually, Matt, I will. We should ask Matt to pop into the into the tourney chat if he has a question, right? I guess. No, I think Taylor should hear what Matt is saying to people. No, right? if he has a if he has a rules question. Hey. Hey guys, I guess that's true. What's up? Spoil, spoil anything in, in hands and stuff, but um, where I'm just wondering, uh, we seem to be in agreement on it, but just double checking. If I make my Mirage Mirror into a land, that pulls it out of combat, correct? Oh, that's a good it, question. It, no, it can't become a land. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think it would still be in combat, but you might not be able to target it because it is no longer a creature. Well, it doesn't matter. He blocks the Mirage. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. He can't target it, necessarily. Um, hold on. Let's uh, let's Google that. Mirage Mirror is a nightmare of a rules card. Yeah. If you... Taylor and I seem to think it, it does pull in of combat. I, Taylor is using a... a, um... like the Devotion Gods as an example. Um... Oh yeah, that they become enchantments like mid combat. Yeah, like let's say you like bolt one of their creature. It was like with like bolt one of Heliod's other white creatures that loses its devotion to make it a creature and becomes an enchantment. Yeah. Hmm. It's a very good hmm. question. Um.
but gods are definitely a good uh, uh, analogy. Um, but that, yeah. Huh. What would it even mean for a land to still be in combat, right? Like it. Yeah, like it wouldn't have power and toughness anymore. Yeah, yeah, it would it'd just get real weird. I'm just kind of visualizing it in, in like arena and just kind of seeing the Mirage Mirror becoming like a forest and just immediately going back to my land section. But, you know. It would still be tapped. It would still be but tapped. Yeah. But... This is a spicy play, Matt. Oh, no, this is, this is important. The top, the top gatherer rule on Mirage, or rulings on Mirage. Once Mirage Mirror's ability resolves, it no longer has that ability. So that thing oh. is just a sand strangler for the rest. Oh, that's right. That is right. You'd have to you'd have to stack those abilities, but like, you wouldn't do that. But it, it no longer has the copy of it. Oh, wow! <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's let, let, let's just double check that. I mean, I know you're looking at gather, but you know, for the stream. Uh. Once Mirage Mirror's ability resolve, it no longer has that ability. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty definitive. Okay, all right, all right. Um, I'm gonna go back to the game. Cool, good talk. Sounds good. Yeah, this Mirage Mirror is is a card that I love, but it it is literally just it's a nightmare. It, it is just like a rules question waiting to happen. So I'm I'm in 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 a sense I'm glad it's gone. Matt definitely used that card uh, improperly against me in multiple games. <laughs> <laughs> just cut, just making it absolutely impossible to, to, Rob, to target. Rob, just like put me in the finals. Matt's here. He didn't move it. <laughs> restart, restart the set. He was doing it like three wow. times a turn. Like three times a turn. He'd Guys, be like this, then this, then this. <laughs> Man, who. Who, okay, well, okay. The, it's interesting that the second rule of Mirage Mirror and Gatherer is that it cannot melt steel beams. Um, so we really should have known. We really should have known um, just from that second rule. I remember like eight or nine rulings fixed to this card. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nightmare. All right. Well, now that they know, I I, I would really like you know. Get that. Let's get that mirage mirror in the. Still be happening. Let's get that mirage mirror in the graveyard. Oh, Matt's in, explaining it improperly, is what I said. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Matt's like, they said, they said I win. <laughs> okay, that's funny. And we, yeah. So so uh, yeah, he just like he just pops into the chat. He gets the right the right rule call, and then he goes back and just absolutely lies to Taylor's face. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're back. This is good. Oh, that's that's good. That's it. That's what you want. So much more away. I think you go Fanbear Mummy, right? Or no, or uh, yeah. or Oketra, Oketra. I think you go Oketra Fanbear, right? Because the next turn you can attack with Oketra, or tap something down with Fanbear. No. Yeah, and then play Sparring Mummy and untap. You can attack and no, exert I, with Oketra. I, I think you're sparring Mummy Oketra. You want to use all that mana. And that's putting the most power and toughness on it. Yeah, but you're you're losing the sparring Mummy ability. But I don't know. How, maybe that's not that important. Right, no, you're tapping down the path mage. It just does it. No, it... No, no, when... It's, it's untapped. Untap. Oh, untap. Oh, never mind. So yeah, that's I, a guy card. I was thinking you play Fanbear, Oketra, next turn you attack with Oketra, Exert, play Sparring Mummy. That's, like what, it's, that. that's, what, it's, gotcha. that's what it's all about. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's the top level play. That's what it's, you know. It's a high level play. play. I, didn't, I didn't even understand the card. You know, you, so you do the Hokey Pokey and, and, and you, you do the Hokey Pokey and you untap your Oketra's Avenger. That's what it's all about. I get, I get paid to search gather, not a... That was a that was a that was an impeccable uh, rules pick because I was I was looking for the exact scenario you know rules explanation on some forum and you do, you just read the actual rules. Well, you, the reason you weren't finding is it is because it's impossible. 
I mean, there's a whole Reddit thread that's just like sickest plays with Mirage Mirror. Oh. I copied uh, what, what's the guy from uh, Ravnica? The new Ravnica set, the the poor, uh, Demir guy. Anyway, this joke would have been better if I could have remembered his name. God, Matt, Matt needs another. Yeah, well, is this what does this card do? This card's good. He should have saved way more lands because I I think he might have two of these. Um, I definitely saw it in multiple games. Um, a little bit of a looter that I'll never get to play because Van Bear is on the board. Oof, two saving graces too, man. I think um. Battle, yeah, that'll 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 get him. That's crazy. That Taylor was just like, I'm gonna run two of. Does Matt have a Niv Mizzet? I think that could get him out of it. Out of the... <laughs> Does he have an expansion explosion that he can bluff? <laughs> Man, see, I like. I think that that Dauntless Haven would look so good right here. Yeah, uh, I still think that was a weird play. I mean, I guess it's. Still, I guess it doesn't really matter because he, he like then he wouldn't have the Ocatcher's Avenger, which is only the th the only thing that really benefits off the Don. Well, no, I mean then he'd still have Donald's uh, well, Donald Haven and Fanbear. Because Vigilance is still very good. Well, yeah, especially with Fanbear because you can like tap pre combat, attack, untap, tap again before before blocks. Yeah. So he, you know, like once he has four mana, he can tap as many things down as he wants. That that card's not gonna do it. Matthew Matthew Ryan. I guess it's a cycler. That's that's not bad. I mean it does counter anything right now. Man, what a bizarre game. Mm. Big swings. But I, I mean I guess it it just like proves the rule that uh mana screw always beats mana flood. Do you cycle this, or do you hold up the counter? Oh, you absolutely cycle it. Get that, <laughs> get that shit out of here. It's a hard counter, though. I mean, I'm just saying it's a hard counter. I don't think countering is how he gets out of this game. <laughs> no, yeah, absolutely not. Do you, Here's uh, what you do. You cycle for an Inferno Jet, cast it, you, then top deck the next Inferno Jet. Is he going to let him attack with a scavenger? It. No, right? You you tap the scavenger down. If you're Taylor. Yeah. No, no need to give him another card. Is Matt making the scavenger unblockable? That's kind of silly. Yeah. Because then he's just, what, it's just going to take a million on the crackback? And he just taps up the crackback. I mean, the, 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 I don't know. We shouldn't necessarily be talking about it. This game is pretty much over, I think. So, does anyone want to answer that question I put in the Discord chat? What's the question? What is the, the, what is the most? I did. Uh, basketball the best mpg basketball jersey i think there's three good picks and probably more i already answered this oh did you put them in the what's the most mtg oh like in uh old raptors jersey is pretty good that's very excellent rivals yeah see that's i think that's the thinking out of the box answer um, I, mean, I think the obvious ones are magic <laughs> I think was Wizards there's... not a theme? Did I make that up? No, but yeah, I think... Yeah, Wizard, Wizards is a good choice, too. I think Orlando... Um, I think the Orlando Magic is a little, like, magi Magician's Top Hat Magic. Less, like, mm, less... Yeah. Like, uh -oh. Less, like, no, fantasy. Aren't they a Wizard Cat? Am I making all of this up? <laughs> no, it's like a basketball with, like, sparkles on it. Yeah. Um, and Shaquille O'Neal in inside. And Shaquille O'Neal inside, that's true. So I think Taylor let this attack happen because he wins on the crack back. <laughs> it's still strange, right? Like what like you don't need to let him see another card. Like I don't yeah. think I don't know what he can do. just tap it. Yeah, he just taps like, it. Same result, right? Maybe maybe what he's doing is he wants to be able to tap whatever comes after. Oh, yeah, that, I could see that. But the thing is, he can also just tap that thing. <laughs> I think he's thinking, oh, he maybe he's holding two two creatures and he wants to be able to tap both of them. Um, uh, 
I guess it's not really that all that risky. I don't know. Did he loot? Yeah, and it was an island, and Oof. now it's in the graveyard. Oof. That's uh, yeah. You now you gotta cycle it. That's good. Too little, too late though. It just gets tapped. And and it's like what a one? Uh, it's a one four, <laughs> two four, three four. No. Oh, okay, he has a lot of... He, okay, one, two, three, four. It's a yeah, four, it's a four. four. It's a four. Four, four? four. Yeah, a, a tap... A four, four that will never be not tapped. Well, you take what you can get at this point. Yeah, also, you know, you take what you can get and you, you play a little faster, guys. Come on. I'm going to have to drop in like ten minutes. It's very sad for me. Okay, there we go. That was the right decision. So do you think Matt sideboards out that mirror now that he knows how it works? Um, no. No, definitely not. The card is still good. I actually, I, know. I actually don't have Matt's sideboard. Um, he didn't send me. He didn't send me a visual with the sideboard. I do have Taylor's sideboard. Let's see what he's got. Um, uh, what was the name of that uh, that card that Taylor had two of in his hand when the game ended? Um, Saving Grace. You, I mean, like you keep those in, right? Even though you didn't see any direct damage spells. Um. I don't know. I mean, I guess if you're playing red, you keep them in. You, yeah, because, like, I think I would against red. Um, it is funny, but he just didn't see any of that. Yeah. They're he, so obviously good against right. that deck, but, like... He has this wing shepherd. for sure. He has a couple dopey cards that I think he could get rid of. I, I'm seeing a supply caravan. I'm seeing a wing shepherd. I'd get those gone. Um, he forgot to GG this. Oh, yeah. That's... Um, cards that I'm seeing, interesting cards that I'm seeing in Taylor's sideboard. Wall of Forgotten Pharaohs, just because it, it does, it does damage and it, you know, it, it's just a better card than I think Wing Shepherd or, or Supply Caravan. And Stinging Shot. I think that, I think after you see the, uh, I think after you see the, um, the star for flyer, the Enigma Drake. Something that kills flyers is is nice. I think Stinging Shot comes in for sure. And Matt, I don't. I mean, I don't see Matt's sideboard. Um, Can you mental magic some cards into there that he might have? Um, from maybe some conditional counter spells from this set. I mean. Was were there? Uh, I, I mean, all the cards that I would think that he would play, I would hope that he would just have in his deck, like Essence Scatter or whatever. Is Essence Scatter in these sets? I forget. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. I think I think Taylor's deck like kind of stumbled last game, and and granted, Matt didn't really have anything, but I think he's still. I think he's still just highly favored. Matt kind of needs to, like, curve out and curve out hard, like, turn two, riddle form, turn three, tempo spell, turn four, sand strangler, turn five, enigma drake, other spell, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, Matt needs to draw real hot, I think, and, uh, if Taylor has anything... Anything worth keeping? I, I don't know. T Taylor's deck just just looks super impressive to me yesterday. But let's see. I mean, yeah, he pulled out of a pretty rough spot there. Yeah, like even this this is fine. You absolutely keep this. Takrap elite with yeah. any, with Takrap elite with anything that untaps it is is nuts. Um, I mean, it's a little Gotta slow. Get that, uh... Gotta get that Birdman combo. Yeah, the, the, the like Takrop yeah. Elite and the Dauntless Haven is fucked. 
And uh, now we're just waiting for Matt to draw his hand. He's got a lot of decisions to make before he does. That's true. Okay, okay. So that's a pyramid. This is not bad. I like real farm on turn two. Um, Sunset Pyramid is also good. Yeah, Real Form into Sunset Pyramid. Pretty. Real Form into Sunset Pyramid. That, that, that is true. That is nice. That is nice. Cause it's, I mean, it's... I guess you want to curve out into the Scrapper, but maybe not. Maybe get 3-3 flyer in. Yeah, I think he wants to deal damage. I don't know. I played Matt, and I think... In... I felt like his deck was a little more controlling than just trying to swing for three as quick as possible, but... No, oh, okay. Well, you, you probably know better than I do. I, I, uh, I didn't get to play. But I think the question is, like, how many triggers are you going to get? Yeah. Well, I mean, I would. what I would do with the pyramid is I'd wait till four, because it's pyramid and play it active. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, you can activate it on the first turn, but it's, uh... Mm, that's true. Play. Well, um, now, now he's got... you get the riddle form trigger. Yeah, but now he's got Sand Strangler on four. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, he, might just, he might just curve into Scrapper and Sandstorm. Yeah. Although I guess we're saying we're curving, but huh? He does need Not one more land. He needs this land to be really, really good. I'm st um. I'm still confused by this battlefield scavenger. Like, what? His hand's pretty good. I don't know if I want to dump any cards. I mean, like maybe he's like hoping. He's like, he needs to draw that fourth land, so. I mean, Rainbow Storm doesn't do much the first turn that it's um, that it's in play. You know, um, I can see this being a little more of a defensive stance if he just wants to block, right? Uh, or, or make it so that the stalwart has to exert, I guess, in this case. I mean, I think you play it and you're saying, I need, I need this fourth land. Yeah, so he's going to... Is Wait. he just loot away the Inferno Jet? No, because... I think he, that's it, right? No, because no, Inferno Jet, you can cycle. I think he's looting away the Scrapper. Or the Pyramid. Yeah, yeah. The, the Scrapper makes more sense. The Scrapper, the Pyramid. Oh, nope, he didn't actually loot. What? We are, we are all just really wrong here. Hello. Sorry, I was relocating. I am I am confused, but... What did I miss? Matt? Just some interesting plays. I'm I would be I'm gonna be very curious to hear um Forsake the Worldly the interview. Wow, so Forsake the Worldly I think came in out of the sideboard and what a good card that looks like right now. Yeah, Forsake the Worldly came in out of the sideboard and it's gonna hit either the real form of the Sunset Pyramid. Uh I way he's happy. Yeah. Man, what a what a call! He, I don't think he saw either Riddle Form or Sunset Pyramid. He just brought it in. I mean, that's a. Or he might just have it in. Wait, wait, oh, it wasn't in his main. No, I'm no, sure it's not in his that. main. It's not in his main deck. Huh? It is. It is one of those cards. I do remember that from the set of like. If you're in white, it should always be your twenty third. Where you're like, I mean, you're not going to feel low bad. risk. And he saw the yeah, it's, a, it's a it's a clean answer to that mirror. Uh, I just remember it being just like the perfect example of like why cycling is so good. But see, okay, what do, what do you guys think about this situation right here? I mean, like, he's he's Matt's still at, Matt's ahead, and it would be it would be so good if he had a land right here. But he didn't exert the scavenger. I don't know, man. Because he can, I mean, now he can cycle and maybe hit a land. And I mean, I guess we now know that he wasn't going to get a land. But. Yeah, I mean, I would, I would be happy to take this trade 2-2 two, two for 2-2, two, two, do the rummage, drop one of the expensive cards without paying cycling costs, and then I have 4 mana to do whatever I want this turn. Like, I don't know that. Or potentially yeah. a four mana to do whatever I want. He's also not exerting the Kenra Scrapper. Yeah. And that would also trigger the, right, the Battlefield Scrap. Wow. I, hmm. Oh, really good point. Yeah. 
Okay. But that's one of those like exert lords. Where yeah, it turns anything on other that exerts. exerts. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good huh. time for it. Just like the worldly finds its. What? That's why they bumped it up to uncommon. Yeah, I mean the hits like. What do you think Taylor's game plan is here? He seemed a little conservative on his attacks. He's been playing sort of a reactive game. Do you guys think that's a winning strategy? I mean, I'm confused why he didn't block the scavenger. I think that's just a fine block, right? You, like, tr like, Rona's stalwart is good, but I'd trade it for, a, you know, a 2-2 two -two with a good ability. Hmm. Um, I mean, I'm, I, I will say... I think you have them in your deck, too. There were a lot of them going around. But I think Ronus' Stalwart is a very solid two-drop. Like, attacking four, three, unblockable on this board, that's solid. Oh, like, no, for sure. I think, I think what I'm saying is just, like, he's not... He's he's on the draw, right? And... Mm -hmm. And Matt's already put pressure. And, like, Battlefield Scavenger has the ability of, like, really digging you out of some weird draws if you have them. I think you just get it off the board. You just like you get you've got yeah, other cards. I, you've got other cards in your hand. I don't know. Yeah, especially now that I've seen that Matt has been stumbling on mana for a couple for I think at least one turn now. Well, now he just um, now he just plays a sand strangler and gets in for four. Yeah, uh, exactly. And then you know he's really not that far away from that inferno jet. Inferno Jet costs actually, oh, it costs such six. An expensive card. It costs six. But look, you. I mean, look, you. You. Uh, well, we're not you, obsessed. It's clearly you, defined as this win condition. Look, you exert I mean, twice. In 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 the three games I played against Matt, he cycled it. I think it in at least at least once in each of them. Like I never saw it resolve. Like he just cycled it away. Um, I'm not saying that's going to happen in this game, but it, he has ways to win that don't involve. Um, lightning axe, you know, slightly beefed up lightning axe. But this is the thing, right? Like, he gets him down to twelve now, and next turn, like he could exert both. You know, I don't know. I mean, you're, you're absolutely right. It might win him the game here. Um, I, I don't know. I'd get that seven drop out of my hand if I could. Yeah, and he totally get. could by exerting his creatures. Yeah. You play wing Yeah, I don't know why he didn't exert the Ketera there, because he would still get the battlefield scavenger trigger. And he could keep the scavenger up to the block. The thing is he could like if you're going, okay, what I'm gonna do That's that's pretty good. Um if you do what what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to Inferno Jet range, then you're just churning through cards because you want lands. Yeah, am, am I correct that if Matt just played the pyramid, he could be paying two to draw a card for three turns. Yep, I think that's yes, what he's going to yeah. do right now. Or yep. Yeah. Why did he pay four? Oh, to play oh, he the played, he played pathmaker. The pathmaker and the 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 shit. I mean, he's got a board. He's got a board. It's not nothing. Um, it's not attacking. Okay, I mean he's still. I mean he's still pretty far ahead. I think if I'm Taylor, I'm ambuscading that pathmaker immediately. Yeah, while well, he's tapped out. Yeah, I think you got to get that thing gone. And this wing shepherd is. I mean, I guess you could play the wing shepherd now, but. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, the Pathmaker I, I, seems really good on this board. Because um, Matt's going to do the thing where he uses the Pathmaker on the Scrapper and then gets it, and then exerts Ooh. it. Yeah. You do that twice, you top deck two lands, Oof. and then you win the game. Yeah. This card seems good here. Open Fire is also very good. I think you still hold That's it. I think, I think you're holding Open Fire for face. You're so far ahead. You think? I think so. I think you're looking to draw two lands with the Sunset Pyramid and with the um, and with the Kenra Scrapper slash Scavenger um, 
trigger. You pass make. I do like that play. You don't like that play? No, I do. I do. I think yeah. that that seems really solid to me. Like the, I feel like the only thing that could really hinder like Max he, perform like is just not getting lands. Yeah. So like, look. I mean, now he's in a really, really good spot. Yeah, and then you pass maker um, initiate the Kenner scrapper. You attack for four. You put him to eight, and then you've mm-hmm. got you've got nine points of burn in your in your hand. All you need is one more land. Yep. I think uh, that that seems like the right way to eat this Reese's. <laughs> and you, you said racist, and I was like, "What?" And man, no. the fact that that striped riverwinder is still in his hand, I'm like, "Get that thing gone!" <laughs> you are not winning this game by playing that card. Yeah, it wouldn't even be that good on this board. It'd be, like, large. <laughs> like, Cricket win four. We might see it going cycled. Um, Are you going to exert? Open fire. Is he going to exert? Impossible to know. Oh, man. I got, I got okay, my own phone. Okay, he did it. He through. finally did it. Alrighty, this was fun, guys. Um, I'll check in and see, see how you, bud. went. Alright, Rob. Bye. Good talking to you. How do we get Henry into this now? Where is he? Is what he's... is he doing? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go on the WhatsApp. What? What? Fan bearer? No, it's not gonna do it. Wait, he exerted and he didn't. I guess he, I guess he doesn't know that Very exert. Cute. I guess he doesn't know that exert triggers the battlefield scavenger. Yeah, I, I bet he's not. I bet he, I bet he's missing that. Yeah, that's too bad. I mean, then I, that makes it. Then that makes sense. That makes because I would be poof. I'd be looting the hell out of that hand. That striped riverwinder would have been gone. The pyramid or something I, but else. Like that's the thing. It's like it still has cycle. Like he knows. Yeah. Oh, and he you has know? and he has Ramunap. I completely forgot about Ramunap. So he has open fire Inferno Jet Ram. So he has three nine eleven. I mean, points of burn. It'll take a little bit. Never forget. Oh, there's there goes uh, there goes Henry. Um, what, what can you do if you're Taylor? I don't, I think Taylor's just losing this, uh, this race. Yeah, but I still don't understand the Wing Shepherd play. The tap out Shepherd. Yeah, I don't like the tap out Wing Shepherd. Wouldn't, wouldn't an ambuscade have been better? At least, like... Like an ambuscade, a, a block ambuscade. Like, right, 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 right. I mean, I like think I think the thing game, is, what? yeah, I think the thing is, you you gotta uh, make sure that the pathmaker is gone because the pathmaker is just what's making this board kind of like, like he's already down to eight. The pathmaker can make anything. He's gonna open fire. The wing shepherd. Probably right. Or the fan bearer. Yeah, I, I would assume the the wing shepherd. Oh no, to face. It's just a, huh? He went, he went that face. Makes sense. I mean, he's he, trying to win off the back of that Inferno jet. Well, Inferno jet and Ram, you know. Well, not even went off of it, but just like yeah, guarantee damage. Why is he ambuscading? Pathmaker? You gotta get these guys to use arrows. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. 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 Pathmaker's making his life complicated. I Take, just think that's too little too late at this point. Yeah, because like, Taylor, that Taylor needs to ago. fade. Oof, that's good too. Well, I guess he's still, uh, 
I guess it's not huge right now, right? It's only a 1-4. Counter Scrapper's exerted. Somebody tell him. Uh, Matt, Counter Scrapper should be tapped. Oh, yeah. Alright, I got him. Tell him. Told. Uh, some of us type in the chat. You know, some of us use the uh, the tourney casting general chat. Uh, what it was, you got me. You what it was, got me with my own criticism. What it was made that for. I always let me. I, I also love how it was like, somebody go tell him, and the, the, there's only two of us. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's us. <laughs> um, We're the only options. So, what is he drawing? He's drawing. Like he's, I mean, he, you know, he gets a land and he wins. Not, not this turn. True. Not this turn. True. Um, yeah, that'll do not it. Right. Yeah, you not this turn. Slam that Enigma, Enigma Drake. I think, you know, Taylor really needs... Um, Taylor really uh, needs uh, Saving Grace. Yeah. Saving Grace would be pretty... Would be a pretty big blowout. I don't know what a blowout, but it would be pretty... It would, it would do... It would do some interesting work. And this fucking Striped Riverwinder is still in hand. He's going to win with this Striped Riverwinder on the battlefield. I'm going to be so pissed. I think I think he's going to win with it in hand. Either or, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Oof. Nope. That ain't, that ain't it, Chief. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. this, one's, this one's done. This one's done. Um, yeah. On Matt's, Matt, Matt's main one. Fan, yeah, Fanbear can't tap lands or anything like that, right? Uh, Inferno Jet. Well, at least he'll know that if he took any of those uh, saving graces out, he should put them right back in. That's true. Another, another odd game. Another odd game. Matt got there eventually... I don't think Taylor played. I don't think Taylor played it incorrect. I think he just didn't really draw anything truly meaningful. Yeah, I I, I will say I think that Andy's done more for him right, than just hemorrhage the bleeding. Kind of how it yeah ended up going. I think he could have had it actually stabilize him. So what uh, would it, what would have been the play that, that turn? You you instead amp- of playing the angel, you do a you play the fan bearer much earlier, and right. then you have a block where you trade something, and then you ambuscade the Pathfinder. Yeah. I think that's right. Well, he could have ambuscaded the Pathfinder like two turns, or, and I think that would have led to him having, you know, four to six more life yeah. at this point. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he also didn't block... Right, that Ronas Stalwart has just been sitting there. He didn't block the Scavenger... Uh, when he could have, I don't know. I, I, I don't think you you guys were really on him for not blocking the scavenger, but I think that fine with with the board state. I mean, I guess I guess it's fine when you know that uh, he's not going to trigger it when he can. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he doesn't. God, this is his own triggers. God, he. All right. Well, you get a game three. Taylor's on the play. Man, Taylor's deck has really uh, been not like man. If I had seen his deck in this in this state last last game, I uh, I might be in the finals. You know? I might I might I you know I might have to. It would have been me here instead of uh, instead of Taylor, but yeah. Again, let's 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 go back to the sideboard again. I only we only have a uh, I only have Taylor's sideboard. Um. I mean, again, that um, I I is it theme worthy. What's the what's the enchantment removal? Forsake the worldly. Yeah, you keep that in. Forsake the world. I don't. The, yeah, the, for sure. The supply caravan. I'm like honestly, the two cards that I saw that game, I'm like not so stoked on. Like supply caravan and wing shepherd. They just cost a lot. They kind of sit. I mean, wing shepherd at least got some attacks in, but it costs six. Like, I don't know. Not, not, not about it. I hope the stinging shot is in. 
if at the very least just for that um enigma drake yeah which he's seen twice i mean i guess to be fair that's the only target but that's still a good target yeah i don't i don't think you're bad about that but yeah i could i would lose the wing shepherd in the supply caravan i mean it's interesting we haven't yeah. seen, we haven't seen the pride I think sovereign wing yet shepherd in general is, uh, it cycles for it's one, so a, it's a week. Yeah, I guess I, I I get it. It cycles for it's like it, there's like very little downside, but it's just it's kind of whatever. Um, yeah, but it's I just really want to see his deck go off because man, when his deck goes off, it's just it's just stupid. Also, I don't think he's even gotten to play Pride Sovereign yet, which is really funny. Yeah, no, he hasn't. Uh, but he's going to be on the play, I think. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, he he absolutely trounced me on a multi five. Is all I'm going to say. Wow. Like he multi five, and he just he just like went like turn two. Uh, he went like turn one frilled sandwalla, turn two. Um, what was it? Channeler initiate. And, I mean, and then just, like, you know, forget about it. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did see the Chandler and issue today. Card's pretty... Card is good. That's a good card. So, but between, between rounds, I'm going to run to the bathroom. Alright. I, I guess this is my time to monologue. Um, Matt Riley, you really need to read your cards. You know, you're missing a lot of triggers. Uh, you know. Weird game so far. Weird game so far. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got for game three. The championship round. All right. Um, pretty, pretty okay hands for the both of them. Yeah, both two landers. I think I think they're both priced into keeping. Turn two plays. Um, Matt's got the Sunset Pyramid, which could dig him out if it needed to. Very similar hand to last game. Yeah. Well, as we saw last time, uh, he won't play the Sunset Pyramid ever. So yeah, it's funny because these are very similar hands, like. Curious if he's going to go riddle form turn two this turn, and or battlefield scavenger like he did last time because it's going to be it's going to be the same game. It's going to be Ronis a stalwart looking at a battlefield scavenger if if Matt it's wants the same to same game, but Taylor's hand is so much better. Taylor's hand is time. Taylor's hand is better. It's good that he drew that land, um, but it's I'm just I'm just very curious what Matt what Matt's going to run out here. Do you think he does? It's got to be Riddle Form into Sunset Pyramid, right? Like that's just no. It's oh. the, the fucking scavenger man. He loves this card, and he just doesn't. And he doesn't know how to use. It. He doesn't know what it does. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I would be more Oof. respectful of that as a turn one play if he used it properly last. Well, well, here we go. I think. Um, I mean, Taylor's about to curve out. What do you What do you think? You I, I think you don't trade again. You think you attack and exert? Yeah, okay. He, he really, I guess he really likes, I mean, it makes sense, right? Like, with all the untapped synergy, Ronis Stalwart is a beast, like, it's just three damage, like very little, very few things in Matt's hand can actually, deck can actually block it with that clause, right? The power under two. Manticore, what does this one do? Manticore is, is very sick. Just another three damage to face. Yep. 
All right, well, here we go again, the Doobie Brothers. Ooh, trying to learn this shit. Yeah, see, this, this, this is why I like not trading for Taylor, because I think putting the counter on the exerted guy is, is a very nice about. It's like now, you know, he's got a three. He's not, and he's going on the offensive. Okay. I guess he's uh, what is he? He's bluffing a trick there. Wow, what a bluff! That paid off. It definitely did. I would have fucking double blocked. I think I would. I would hope that I would have double blocked and just been like, "Show me the fucking trick." <laughs> I mean, I guess you're playing against green white. Like it's. Ooh. Blur of Braids. Now that now that's a good card. Yeah, Matt blew me out one game with that. I mean, still though, I don't like. It's just it's not better than Hawkrop Elite <laughs> um, uh, Pump Plus. Um, Plus saving grace, yeah. right? Like you're not win you're not winning any fights. Yeah, I get yeah, I guess I guess you attack here. Sorry, did Matt swing? Yeah, Matt swing with both both his creatures. God, he's gonna be taking a lot of damage. I guess I think guess he's thinking it's just a race now. He's got the Manticore that's three points of damage. He's got the Blur of Blades, which is two. He's got so he's got five burn yeah. in hand that he can dispatch pretty oh, quick. Race, um, I don't think that's a race he can win. Riddle I mean Riddle Form plus Blur, right? That's that's another that's No, it's, it's Yeah, it's another five. Ooh, you know, Blur of Blades and Riddle and triggering uh turning on Riddle Form is pretty good. Does Talk Rob Elite pump itself? I guess it doesn't matter because it's still like the real form's still gonna eat it. Yeah. Um hmm. and yeah. This game's pretty this game's pretty close. I think I think uh I don't know what I do if I'm Taylor here. This is tricky. Uh, well, it's only close because we can see Matt's hand. I think Taylor probably thinks he's in the driver's seat. Yeah, but I mean, I think you see Riddle Form on the battlefield in two lands, up, and you know, you know that he can act, that he can turn that thing on. Sure. I mean, this is the real thing, right? So he bluffed the trick, like, a couple turns ago, and now he doesn't have the trick. Yeah, it's a good point. Ah, this is tough. This is, a, this is a tight three games. It's a tight three games, yeah. It's also just, it's, it's just a strange, it's also a strange position to go from on offense and then halt you know just completely completely you know come to a screeching halt yeah I, this is gonna this is gonna end up for taylor yeah this is gonna end up badly i think i think uh, uh i don't know i mean what do you, what do we think he's gonna run out after initiate any channel or avenger well okay i mean it, it really depends on so i assume I assume he's exerting the talk crop elite. I think here's the other thing. He doesn't really need the the mana at this point. I guess technically he does. He's trying to ramp into the caravan. So no exert on the... he, could, he could have a three four channeler if he wanted. Okay, well so but this is the thing. This is a this is an absolute blowout, right? Because if 
if Matt is doing Blur of Blades with trigger on the stack of the Ronus stalwart and he didn't exert the talk crop elite, yeah, then he kills the stalwart, riddle form triggers, blocks the talk crop elite, and... Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Although, to be fair, Taylor can then saving grace the talk crop. Yeah, but, I mean, it's still just a saving grace on the talk crop. Like, you know what I mean? I still think in that scenario you do it because you want to keep your flyer so you go sa- your whole team around. You go saving grace channeler initiate. It's not the worst. Yeah, I, I think so. Does saving grace untap? Just plus post it Yeah, yeah, you're right. He's priced into is he's priced into playing it. And here's here's the other thing about saving grace is it saves you from the blur of blades too, damn it. Um If you play it in spawn. Well Yeah, but the thing is it's still it, that's that means that the talk crop will even die. Right, because it would take three from Riddle Form oh. and three. Yeah, it would take three from Riddle Form and three from Blur Blades, and it only has five uh, five toughness now with Saving Grace. Because it redirects all damage. Oh. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I, I forgot health. I forgot it redirects to the creep. Yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, this, these are cards we haven't played with in forever. I don't know why I feel like I'm so on it today. It's not my it's not my style. Okay. No, channel, oh, the channel initiate what is... What are you doing? What's up? Sorry, no. Yeah, what's he doing with the channeler? I guess he just put the counters on the channeler itself. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. This is, this is still tough. I mean... He's got another four, potentially. He's got a lot of damage coming in next turn. But he is also at 11. This is tough. This is a tricky, this is a tricky spot. Ooh. Maybe you go Pyramid... Riddle form. Hmm. I th- so here, here's my God. This is this is tough. I'm I'm if I'm Matt, I really want to swing out, but I think it might just be pyramid, a swing with riddle form pass. Right, hold up Kindle, Fu- hold up Kindled Fury. What do you think about that? Um, because this is the thing. He's going to do... He can deal a lot of damage here, but the crackback is... Say, the, I also do... The, I do think that... The crackback is bad. Pyramid, Sunset Pyramid for two? Holding up the two into an attack does really signal, you know, I have a trick. But okay, but this is the thing. Right, so, yeah. so what? Like he can do sunset pyramid, turn on riddle form, swing for three, four, five. Uh, he could swing for a potential nine here, right, with the counter scrapper exert. But then he just the counter scrapper is exerted. He maybe has a different card, maybe a land, which would be nice. But then he's he's taking at least five next turn. If not more. This is a tough one. Maybe you just play Frontline Devastator and say go? I I think he wants... This is tough. I think if yeah, it, I think I, I think actually yeah, you just run out of the devastator. Yeah, I mean technically 
technically he can get in with the scrapper. I think maybe I think maybe I I attack and exert with the I'm 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 kind of in between two lines. Attack and exert with the with the scrapper. Dump. Dump maybe the kindled fury. Hope to pull up land. Because if you pull a land, then you just play Ga then you just play Manticore. Pass. Good blocker. An extra couple damage. Yeah. Or if you're going like max damage route, you go Sunset Pyramid, attack with Riddle Form, pass, and try to like blow him out with Kindle Fury on, on some blocks, right? I think I would get in with at this because I think the I think the fail case is you don't hit something off of it and then you just play the Devastator and you're okay with that. Yeah, I think yeah. Like he might he would take you know five, which I guess he doesn't really want to at this point. Yeah, this is, this is a tough spot. Tough spot. So I, I think you go with the scrapper and then. Yeah, I don't know. Like you said, you see what you're doing, Cor. But clearly, he's doing something. He's doing the frontline devastator play right off the rip. So. And then just passing. I mean, yeah, you don't. You don't run that thing out and then attack the scrapper. <laughs> oh, yeah? Maybe. Maybe you do. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no exert? Why would you not exert at that point? Well, you know. Try to get the draw. Well, no, he doesn't know that, that 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 he doesn't know that's what it does. I guess that's true. But you uh, still four damage. He wants to deal with. I don't know. I get that you lose the creature. I'm not like the funny thing. The, okay, the, this is the funny thing, right? Because if uh, if Taylor plays Vizier and triggers the Vizier in the way that Matt has not been triggering the Scavenger. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that would be pretty funny. I, I'm almost, so, okay, hear me out. I'm almost inclined to go, I mean, it's not mana efficient. I don't, that, that that's the part I don't like about it, but I'm almost inclined to go, oh, Kedra's Avenger first, because then next turn you get two, you get to play Vizier of the True, and you get two triggers. Hear what I'm saying? Yeah, that's pretty backbreaking. Like, you go tap, tap. I don't know. I, if I was Taylor in this scenario, I think I would just supply Caravan. Why would you not attack with the Kudu at this point? Like, okay, he double blocks. Well, he saw... No, he saw the... He saw the um, Inferno Jet. He must just be afraid of Inferno Jet. But even still, uh... Okay, play the Akechas Avenger. Come on. See the line. No. Ah, dang it. See, even this, I... I would rather play the Karab. Because you end up with more blocker. And you're getting the counter off of the thing. Right, because, oh yeah, you, you get the white... You get the white warrior too. Lots of interesting plays. That. One. Pathma Pathmaker initiate. See, like, yet again, like, not exerting with the, scra the scavenger and missing lands. I just don't get it. It's a bit. Yeah. Or you, like, play Sunset Pyramid, right? You attack with Brutal Form, and then if you don't want to play... Kindled Fury, you you draw a card. I just, just like I just both games sitting there with the pyramid that could be drawing you out of these problems seems so strange. Yeah.
it's like now what like the problem like, like matt's problem right now is that just like is uh taylor's life total is nowhere near where it needs to be to yeah. be like to be like in and range like his, his, his dream is to get, hit a land for the mantis so then he gets a beefy creature in play he can throw a you know the counter onto like the battlefield scavenger he's not really attacking with anyway yeah and he's dealing three to phase but he has two avenues to start drawing lands and he's just not but the thing is, like, even with this, like, big... Oh, God, you see now the Sunset Pyramid? I mean, he gets a brittle form trigger. Yeah, no, I mean, look, I, I, I don't think it's the wrong play. I'm just... Because, like, now he, he can play the Pathmaker, he can hold the Kindled Fury. Um, I'm still just, like... You know, you needed that card. God, he's not even... At, well... Clear. He's not even going to attack. I like taking the counter off. Oof. I mean, the thing Gotta is, like... that guy's power toughness. Yeah, hit me, he'll do it. A land would have been really good here for one, two, three, four, five. Well, it doesn't really matter. I mean, he could just still keep t attacking him with this top. Like, this is the thing, right? Like, yeah, no, he can keep getting him with the, the flyer. He can still keep getting him with the flyer and still setting up for like a huge turn with with two exerts. Yeah, you just swing with the talk rock. Yeah. Then what's I mean Matt's not gonna throw away a kindled fury just to block, right? Like it's not gonna do anything. Yeah. He's just gonna eat this too. Try to draw a card, maybe. Like, okay, what's Matt's best case scenario? He draws a land. Supply caravan. Okay, I mean, it's fine. I guess he. I guess Taylor's like, I'm already yeah. winning. I don't need I to. Just, I, I totally agree with what you were saying earlier. Like, he hasn't gotten any value out of this by playing it. Yeah. The Battlefield Scrimmage is wow. sitting there as a 2-2. Two -two. Just, it's just been sitting there. Doing nothing. He could have had real form out. He could have, he could have you know. And summon's not bad. And summon's and not bad. not bad. And it's not good enough, but it's not bad. It's not good enough. <laughs> that, oh, God. Oh, that card. <laughs> Another card that loves to just sit in his hand. Matt, I know you're gonna hear this later, and I'm not trying to rag on you about the Battlefield Scavenger. I'm sorry, like I know it's we haven't played these cards in a while. So don't don't take it the wrong way. But I'm glad that he at least got rid of the fucking stripe blender. Um, yeah. I'm still trying Did to he hit the land off it. He hit the land off it. Yeah. So that's, that's not that. That's, that's something. I mean, unsummon and kindled fury is there's, those are two triggers for riddle form. I'm trying to think how, how he pieces a win together. Six damage. So he gets in with riddle form twice. That's six. Da that's six damage. Um, puts him down to half pathmaker is not bad. Uh, 
I mean, he he could he could get him. He could snipe it if Taylor's just being really. Um, if Taylor is yeah, being. I don't, I don't think there's a way. Just looking at the way Taylor's hand is kind of shaken out, like there's not going to be a turn where he doesn't have saving grace up for the rest of the game. Right. That's true. That's true. So like a big blowout. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like, even if Matt plays the Manticore at this point, I would probably saving grace into that just block that three game. Yeah. I mean, hold up the unsummon for the saving grace? Saving grace tech? Sure. I, I do also think Taylor is playing conservatively. I think he could be the yeah. last two turns he could have been a lot more yeah with the with the tapping of the vizier i'm 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 a hundred percent i would be a hundred percent on the uh lead with Oketra's avenger hold a bunch of lands open with nothing to play you know drop yeah drop vizier and make a fucking huge attack but i i mean i i understand i understand playing this way he's i mean he's not I, losing I think, he's not I losing think this turn he goes for the talk crop exert and Maybe not swings out, but swings with a oh. I still don't think so. I think he, if, if, if he, if he, he's only tapping you one. So. You don't think if he attacks with the elite vizier? Oh, I guess that can tap two in the caravan. He'll get two tap trigger. So he taps down the scrapper and the devastator. Everything's plus one plus one. I think he that even just straight up wins the game. Well, don't forget Barring, about don't forget know, about unsummon. Not can unsummon riddle form, but Taylor doesn't. Do that. Yeah, I think I'm still on the talk crop elite single attack. Playo catches Avenger. Wait one more turn. Sure. I mean, this is the thing, right? Like, if you were playing aggressive, you 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 go aggressive early. You don't go aggressive late. But I don't know. I I'm I'm known to get blown out. So we play the unsummon now, probably on the top crop. To get blown. Well, what do you want? You you're unsummoning the top crop, right? For sure. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. I mean, has he played a land this turn? Because he can just go top crop and no, he catch hasn't. So you play Talk Rock and he'll catch his Avenger and you just say go. Yeah. And even Yeah, you just you just play those two cards and you say go for it. Chant. For it. Cause cause the next turn he's tapping three things down? Get, get. That's what I'm saying. I, I think the play you described earlier would have landed him in a much better spot. I mean, what? Yeah, like I don't remember that exact turn, but Matt certainly would be lower than seven right now. It was. It was run the catcher out before the. This is a weird on a, on a four mana turn. Ooh, this is a, I mean, this is a bad attack because he's just going to get Kindle Fury, right? He doesn't know that, but... Yeah, but isn't Riddle Form already a thing? That's what I'm saying. He's just like, he's going to run... Yeah. Matt's going to play Kindle Fury and trade the real... Like, you know, because it gives it first strike. And plus one, plus a... Like Matt can't like Matt cannot take three. I get this I get this attack from from Taylor, because Taylor's like Matt doesn't have anything. He's like I, I swing and he's either chumping or trading. Like, you'll definitely that's fine. But yeah, now he just trades a right. candle fury for an ornery kudu. I don't 
I mean, that, that's fine. Taylor, there's no way for Taylor to know that. I, I think you just... If I'm Taylor, I do not waste the saving grace on the ornery kudu. I guess, well, huh, if you... Well, maybe I take that back. If you saving grace the ornery kudu, you kill the real form. Yeah. Oof. This is a tough one. I still... Did, did Taylor yeah, he's gonna save do the Inferno Jet last game? Yeah, he did. He died to it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Or, or he... I, I think... Uh, well, he's going for it. Yeah, he could still... I mean, I, I'm really just here for for three triggers on Vizier of the True and Matt going, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. I think Taylor needs to do everything in his power to make that happen, because I think that attack will be oh. special now, because Matt's burned through his unsummon and his... Wow, check, check this out. I completely forgot about what Saving Grace does. All the damage is going to be redirected to Vizier of the True, which has a fat butt, or you know, puts it on a on a more valuable creature. Ornery Kudu still still wins that fight. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay. That's pretty nice. Into that, into that, and then you play Talkrop. Yeah, I think Taylor's in a pretty pretty commanding position. That's not gonna do much. Um, you gotta play Manticore and pass. <laughs> You're getting two things tapped. It's not gonna be good. Oof. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think Matt. I don't think there's a way out for Matt here. I, I think that next turn. Well, again, he does. He still hasn't played the Catrus Avenger. Would have been so nice with the. Oh God. Yeah. Ugh. The talk or with the vizier. Maybe, maybe, yeah. You, maybe you even give up the kudu and you can just go. You go. Oh, catches a mention. You have three triggers. Absolutely wiping his board of blockers. And you're getting in with one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six things all pumped. Terrible blocks because then you just like. Even if he plays the Manticore, right? You block, you tap the Manticore, you tap the Counter Scrap, you tap the Frontline Devastator. He's got a 2 yeah, 2 and a 2. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're, you're going to tap whatever three best things he has, and then I don't think he survives that attack at this point with yeah. the team pump. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta play the, the Mantic. Uh, I mean, it's all bad for Matt. I, I, I feel bad for him in this, in this position. It's like, the draw really hasn't come together. Like, Taylor's deck didn't go off, but it really just shows the power of, like, good creatures and yeah, damage. Yeah, I, I also, I don't know, I will say, I think over the course of this game, Matt missed a lot of opportunities to draw, draw into his house. between the scrapper triggers and this playing the pyramid earth. Oof. Oof. I mean, yeah. Matt's about to experience some compulsory rest of his own. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm going to stop harping on it, but imagine I'll catch his Avenger on this board plus drawing a compulsory rest. Forget about it. That's what I'm saying. He, could, he, he Forget about sweeps it. away his entire board. Matt would have one, th he would probably have the Pathmaker in the Shia going into this attack. And like, obviously it's, it's we're talking about kind of a Widmore scenario at this point. Well, okay, but this but is the thing, this is the thing, right? But still, this is the thing, you do, you do you attack, do you like swing out, tap some stuff here, knowing that you're not going to win? Right, because I, I still don't know, does he kill him? 
Let's see. Okay, he he. No, I, no, you don't. I don't think you. So you don't do it now. You you oh, Ketra's Avenger. You compulsory rest if you want. You go for the win. Right now. What I'm what I'm saying no, is. No, I think you, you swing out. Well, he's doing it. Looks. Yeah. Arrows, for the love of for the love of all that is holy and sacred, arrows, please. Yeah, and where, well, yeah. what did, and where is the compulsory rest? Where is the compulsory rest? Now, uh, Please, please address this. Oh, okay. I mean, do you, like, this is the thing, do you even scoop? Like, you throw away some shit creatures, you don't lose the game. And maybe you're swinging yeah, back. Yeah, but, but he's got countervailing wins. No, okay, but like... Okay, like hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So he... What, what, what does he compulsory rest? He compulsory rests the Manticore. He taps down the Frontline Devastator and the Scrapper. He's swinging with... A lot. But let's say you put... I guess he's still dead, right? Cause yeah. Because the top crop is three, ornery kudu is four, that's seven by itself. And you only have two blockers? Yeah, I guess he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> that's enough. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a tough game. It's a tough game. All right. Well, some bad, some bad beats. I guess we 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 should let them. We'll let them. We'll let them. Uh, de decamp. Decamp. Is decamp the right word? I don't think so. Decompress. Uh. Uh. Just fucking unwind. Kick back. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, congratulations to Taylor. I think this deck. I mean, no, no matter how anybody played, like I think his deck is fucking good like no and I, I'm, I'm really glad we got like an engaging long three game set I really thought this would be much faster with these two decks I agree I agree um both, both and faster I, and more one sided and, and, pro and props to Matt Matt's deck is good too um a lot of power a lot of damage um, yeah, so much mental burn. Yeah, I think they both. I think they both put together pretty good ones, and they, you know, and they also played colors that people weren't weren't playing in the draft. There's a lot of black. There's a lot of green. Um, hey guys. Yo. Oh howdy. Hey, good games. Hey. Big what, a, what a set, GG's. Yeah, sorry, it's so it's so hard when you're talking it out. At the very end, making sure you guys are like, join the thing. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. We 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 were we were uh, considering whether we were to acknowledging that uh, that that what? What? We were acknowledging that that impetus to to check in. Yeah. And that was such a that was such a tense third game because I felt like I, I had to be so delicate to not like get blown out. So yeah, um, what, well, maybe not. Maybe chat disagrees. Well, no. I mean, I think I think in the end you were playing it right. Um, there were a couple. Okay. Well, there's a few things. There's a few things I want to go over. Um, Matt. Yeah. Battlefield scavenger. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Why wasn't I attacking and exerting with it to try to? Well, uh, no. I mean, two uh, things. I'm, I'm two things. I'm just like interested in why you were leading with Scavenger as opposed to Riddle Form, both of those games. And, yeah. 
and I guess did you were you aware of of the of the like kind of um, anthem trigger that Scavenger has with other exerters? Yeah, but it's, uh, I I don't think the problem that game wasn't really like my hand. I mean, maybe there there was like one or two turns where I was like, I wish I just had my fifth land here. Uh, yeah. to like be able to play like a four drop and still hold up the the thing. But in the turns where it was even acceptable to attack with the scavenger, I didn't feel that way. Right. Like, but, but there were happy. turns where, where you attacked with the uh, the two three menace exert where you could have exerted that rather than the scavenger but still got the scavenger. Interesting. Oh, uh, it's just it's just like my white three two that, that no I, yeah I missed that yeah. game. I know how it works. It's, it's like the uncommon that triggers on because yeah. I missed that game against you. Uh, Matt, I think in this I think in this game it was less of a factor, but in game two, I mean, and granted you won game two, so like what you know what am I talking about? But in game two, there was like it was so clear that you needed to get to that sixth land. Oh yeah, but in game two, I didn't want to like like throw away. Uh... I came to, I just, I felt very confident I had, like, with the exception of Taylor, maybe hearing I had Magma Jet and boarding in uh, the, whatever, the game, game four at instant speed spell so was, like, with the exception of that, I, like, I was pretty, like, at a certain point, I knew I had the game locked up. I, was just, I mean, Matt, I, was, I did have two, I do have two saving graces. I was like, yeah, little did you know that he has yeah. two saving graces at this main board. <laughs> Double, and I, I can't. I can't That's board him out. I don't have enough. Uh, That's true. I can't board him out. That's how Taylor, you know, was surprised my, by my magma jet. Like, that would have been a baffling, uncommon spell that would have surprised me. But yeah, there's okay. definitely wasn't playing, playing around that. Uh, yeah, I could see if game three you saw errors or opportunities where I should have done it, but game, game two, I. Yeah, there was I, never felt like I needed to do it. Like I, I guess I was just I guess I guess ultimately what I was confused by is like if you're gonna play it and you're not gonna trigger it, then why isn't real form just a better play, especially turn two? Yeah, but you're talking about game three now, right? No, I'm talking about both games really, because both games you had both games you opened up with I, I scavenger because, like, because game two I'm on the play I want to go. Like two 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 drop into the scrapper on three, and like I don't want to play against, especially against Taylor. Like honestly, the sunset pyramid feels like a liability in, in this matchup. And if I had a better pool of cards to board in, I would have considered boarding it out. But I don't. I don't want to. Like I'm on the play. I'm in the driver's seat. I want to like play my two drop attack. No, he's not going to block with it because he wants to race me too. Play my three drop. That'll get more powerful later in the game. I don't want to play like my sense up here and make a three three, and the next turn I have to play another creature spell or another non creature spell on the turn on turn four of the game to just turn my three three on again, and I, I just don't have any creatures in play. And Taylor has like two a two drop and a three drop in play. Yeah, I guess I, I mean I, I get that. I get that. Um. Honestly, that makes sense to me. I, I mean, I wasn't looking at your hand in the game state, but if Riddle Form is just not reliably a creature, and it sucks, like, you do not want to force uh, your, we were like, turns turn three through six to, like, play around. But between the scavenger trigger and the pyramid, Matt got pretty jammed up in his hand both, both of those games. Right. And... Like, we yeah, were you, looking I mean, at like, oh, had he started with a slower start, he would actually have more cards in hand. Hmm. Yeah, um, I mean, like you just have like striped riverwinder like stuck in your hand game two, and and then you had like and then I mean in even game two you had like you had um, riddle form and sunset pyramid stuck in your hand where you could have been looting those away. Game three, I had this segment. That was that was the game two. I mean, again, you won game two. I'm not, I don't know why I'm harping on game two. Get, like, we're not even talking about game one. Game one was fucking weird. Game one was uh, pretty brutal. <laughs> game one was fucking strange. Um, 
I think that was the like one of the strongest examples of like the difference it must have felt from like you two being in the booth to like me. yeah. Because I'm just well, like, I'm just, like Matt, no one, I'm just, no like, one has Matt's anything. Hand must be perfect. Yeah, I was exactly. like, Matt's hand must be so perfect. Like there's Matt's crazy. Hand, perfect hand of four eyelids. I saw. There's I saw, no uh, way if I go for Ambuscade, I'm not gonna. I literally, as I cast the card, I said, "Blow me out here, blow yeah. me out, Daddy, blow me out." Daddy. <laughs> No, I mean, just like a perfect classic example of screw beats forward yeah. every time. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Awesome. No, absolutely. We, I think we literally said that yeah. while watching. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, I think I was wrong to keep that hand. Like, sure, like, I don't usually want a four land hand, but like... No, I don't think that was a wrong keep. I think you both you both just drew really, really badly until Taylor drew a plane, so then it was like off to the races. Yeah, yeah. Um, also funny, the winds of Abandon, which also, we also don't, didn't think was a bad play, like, totally got Taylor to planes earlier, because he would have just drawn two other fucking cards that he couldn't play. Well, yeah, I, I, wait, wait, I, I hate that play, because, like, you have to imagine my mindset game one, like, I know I have two copies of Magma Jet in my deck, and... Oh, no, yeah, we, we know, we have, I mean, we have the deck list, like, I, that made 100% sense, like, we were like... He's gonna do it. It makes sense. Like it sucks, but it's like it's the play. Yeah, yeah. Robert. Robert was the only one who was like, I don't think that that he would do that. And I was like, he will absolutely. <laughs> yeah, we were both like, we were both like, get in for three. Because <laughs> I'm just not. I'm not playing a deck where I'm just gonna be like, okay, I'm not gonna attack. I'm gonna try to block, and I'm just gonna hold this for later. Like I'm already giving up so much of like the dominant position I have to be in. Yeah. As far as it goes. Um. Uh, and then Taylor, question for you. Game three, um, there, like, I can understand. It was the turn you played the Vizier. The turn you played the Vizier, I was really looking forward for you to play the Oketra's, like, lead with the Oketra's Avenger, holding mana up for nothing, and then go turn three, or like, not turn, I don't know what turn it was, but like, next turn, drop the Vizier, swing out. Yes, I was racking my head as to how to do that. I, I get what you're saying. You, you want the vizier uh, exert. You, you want the vizier second, right. so that the next turn you could do the yes. top crop. And it okay, right. of the mana efficiency. Like, if you looked at that. Oh, it was, no, so, it was I, completely... I, I, Coach really said, Coach was like, I think you should do the mana efficient, inefficient play here. Yeah, I, I, more I, yeah I'm you. just... I, I wish I could remember exactly what I did that turn, but uh, yeah, I was very aware that I was just like, you usually want to have a ton of exerters on the battlefield, then slam that, and it's a surprise, and they can't find it. The thing was, Matt was also being really cautious, like he wasn't in a position to attack me. So it didn't really, I feel like the way you hit them with their pants down is like if Matt was attacking with like two creatures, and then I, you know what I mean? Sure. I feel like if I put down the Avenger he's not going to go, oh, now I can attack, you know? Like, he was, he, he, there was the point where it just became clear he was the defender, and I was the aggressor. Yeah. It was very, it totally occurred to me. Yeah. I, no. I think the argument there was that, like, you know, and, and who knows, again, it's the same thing as, you know, talking about Matt in game two, it's like, you won game three in the end, so, whatever, but... It just felt to us like you could have had a more aggressive stance once you kind of established yourself as the attacker. Had you kind of taken a almost a turn off, just run out the Avenger. Yeah, and it's basically Matt, Matt, it Matt kept me. playing he creatures. Would attacked, he would have attacked into me if I had done. I'm saying no, he wouldn't have, but he only had three creatures in play at the time, and you would then have had three tappers. So you tap him down completely, and then could have gotten in for, I think he was at 11 at that point. Well, not really, because Vizier also itself has exert, as does the Avengers. Right, so you're not, right. You're not... Well, there, and, and, but Taylor, there's also two moments. So there was that moment, which I was like, I was like, yeah. I get why you wouldn't do that. You're like, there's like the clear, like, mana efficient play. So like, mm -hmm. okay. The, then the other moment, which I was really interested in, was saving the Kudu with the saving grace, right? Because if you, if you just let the Kudu die, you had... Oh, Catcher's Avenger replay Tawkrop pass, right? And threatening a crazy attack next Yeah. Turn. This is so this is exactly what um what me and Matt were talking about before we joined the chat. I was fully prepared to not save I was like this this antelope basically like that was a fascinating <laughs> turn because he unsummoned, I go, 
I still have to put pressure on him. Like, there's no way I can leave him at seven life. Like, I have yeah, to. Yeah, no, no. The, the attack with Kudu totally makes sense. Like, how, you, you're not expecting yeah. Kindling Fury. No, I, but, but let me explain. If he just blocked with two two twos or whatever the board say was, I was fully like, sure, I'll trade Kudu for a grizzly bear. No, like, right. The word was very weird. Where I was just like, I'm fine trading off. It was the exact he would have kept the flying blocker in play and it was eating mine because of first strike. So it was like, I was definitely attacking with the antelope thinking, okay, this is just going to trade off. I don't care. No, I, no, I, no, I, I absolutely get that. Absolutely get that. Yeah. So it was another one where it was just like, but no, but you know, cause like, yeah, because you, but even the, but, the thing is, once you have the tall crop getting in and he doesn't have any flying blockers, that's so different to me. But yeah, I, I wasn't expecting to see no, sure, but I mean, I mean, get like I guess what I was thinking is like you give up the kudu, you that allows you to play both the Taw crop and the Oketra's Avenger, having three triggers next turn, saving the savings grace, right? And then I mean, you didn't know that you were going to draw compulsory rest, but and also you no, won, no, you won the next turn. Like did, did this math before? Well, on our last turn, like Taylor had the win even without the compulsory rest by a lot. No, no, I know, I know, but I'm yeah. Yeah, it's, I, I can't, I, like, there's so many factors there, right? Because it's, like, for one example of, like, what I'm thinking of, it feels like I have it well in hand, so I kind of just, my whole point was, like, chip in for three, chip right. in for don't, three, Right, don't, three, don't, three. don't, don't overextend yourself. Yeah, well, it's very and easy And I, I, I think Coach even said that at one point, it was just, like, I think you're just keep getting a flyer. At, uh, at this point, yeah. at this point, at you this haven't point, gone. Imagine, so, so you can imagine, especially because Tawcrop, I had made it a 2-5, but then when he unsummoned, it was... Then it was going to be the 2-2 two, two that either gets eaten by the uh, riddle form or trades if I go to exert, which is a huge thing. So um, right, but you, but, but you still, like but you still had the, you would have you would have kept the savings grace, so you could have still you still could have attacked and saving grace true. to talk about. And but I think and a big won factor to me. So, so you think about the vizier of the true trigger. It it oftentimes will not be able to hit also the riddle form. So I think that was like another thing. There's just something tricky about that creature where like he could let me yeah, yeah for sure for sure for sure combat. and uh yeah the, the turn before that i was just like i was like matt give me two minutes and i just like scratched out on a piece of paper all this math and i was just like it's so he had shown me so many like cheap spells it was just like i don't think there's any way i have lethal here unsummon and a two-man on summon yeah so yeah. yeah fair enough no that makes sense as well i i understand that too I don't think, yeah, it was like one of those things too, where it was also like, what what is a little bit safer and what is a little more? Yeah, I think I think also once you once you decide that your stance is like conservative, there's no reason to like blow that plan up just to. Uh, yeah, and, and, and I think even noted during the game, I was you know, Kos was pointing out specific lines, and I was like, yeah, but Taylor's playing a more conservative game than what you're suggesting, like. I don't know. I, I think I was on team. I was on team Taylor attack every turn, and I think both you and Kosme were. I I guess I always just for a safer play, and yeah. it obviously worked out. I always just fall I between mean, the Matt two. Matt has such a clock. Matt has such a like. He can make something unblockable. He can have a four power menace. He can do six to my face, Manticore, and he has whatever, the, the Devastator. The Devastator like, guaranteed to. Yeah, Devastator has an effect. Yeah, there's just so much. Uh, which is which? I mean. Which is kind of what There's I was so thinking. Close power. Which is kind of which is kind of why I was thinking like, the longer you drag this out, the lo- the like the more outs you you give Matt. Um, but yeah, I'm a bit, but I'm also like I'm also the classic player who always falls in between the two stools of either being too aggressive or too conservative, and never really finding that good middle line. I, I yeah. Think, uh, I think so. Taylor played it, played it exactly the way I would have. <laughs> I mean, I'm usually the one screaming that people are too conservative. Like, there's definitely draft boys I feel like are allergic to attacking. But, well, uh, I mean, I know that I like look at a big board and I just go, I don't want to do the math. Yeah, but it was a very specific game, like game three. It was the same way G- Matt's game two. I think I still agree with him because he was in a like, you just want to make sure you don't lose it mindset. You right. Know, yeah, like, right. Like Matt played it very well because he, yeah. Yeah, I, I want to like the cards were definitely uh, going my way and not his. Yeah. So I don't want to just like throw away my three, like my two exert creatures to get like eaten up trying to just hit that land when when I'm, like they're already just holding all the other creatures back. I don't really care, but the three three angel is not going to kill me fast enough. 
before he draws his six land to cast my knife. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, no. I, I think, yeah. I think. I think. I think. Most of the criticism that I had was like early game where you like it's it's still unclear w- which direction the game's gonna swing depending on the draws. And well, see, that's the obnoxious thing about that creature is like, and again, I, it's funny I, I ended up drawing that creature all three games, but um, I that creature was such a desperation pickup. Like, I just I think it's I think it's a pretty weak creature, and like I, I think Joe was like forcing blue red as well. Um, and I obviously was not getting like like my sideboard practically has nothing. That's not that's on color, so yeah. I'm literally just playing as a grizzly bear for the most part, and like I just don't. It's more valuable to me as a two-two that can attack every turn when I'm on the play, and I'm not concerned about blocking, as opposed to a two-two that attacks one turn, gives me card advantage, is nullify the next turn I can't attack again, and then gets to attack on the following turn when it's probably outclassed by towing board state. Yeah. I, I guess I was looking at game two and it was just like as you were as you were like asserting more and more dominance, I was like, yeah, but he's also just giving Taylor an, an more chances to draw saving grace, which is just like I don't think it would have I don't think it was still would have won you the I don't yeah, I mean I don't think it would have won you the game even still, but like Yeah, I think I lose game two even if I blow out. Yeah, even if you blow out the magma jet for sure, because you just you weren't doing you weren't doing enough damage early. Anyway, yeah. no, no, I remember. Do you remember I didn't block? I was like, oh, I'll I'll go blow for blow with the Ken, with the battlefield scavenger, and then the Henner scrapper came down. I was like, fuck, I'm not winning this race. Like that was. Yeah, that was no, a- I was. We were also like, we were also like, we were also like, trade. I don't know. Our but, match. I mean, with- I didn't agree with it, but then the three drop definitely. Yeah. Trade back. Yeah. And then he didn't attack with it. So. Anyway, uh, our our matchup is just, was just so player draw dependent. I feel like I feel like just the decision making is such a one eighty. Yeah, I mean to be honest, I was I was pretty I was pretty like all in on Taylor's deck. Like Taylor's deck absolutely trounced. Like the funny thing is, like Taylor's deck, you didn't even see it like go off in the synergistic way that it totally like like. Turn I was three. trying to convey that to him game three or whenever. I was like, you have no clue the like draws I had, the luck I had against like Ian and Coast. Like, yeah. like he didn't, like you didn't draw the cat once. <laughs> like I, I don't know if you even no. played. Oh wait, wait, Matt, are you looking at your screen? Uh, my okay, yeah. I'm just gonna oh, yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, I, I was looking. Yeah. Like, like, like Matt, just, j- 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 I hear you have it. Like, it's so funny. Uh, not not that I was like trying to like achieve or anything, but like I knew I like I know I opened this. I know the green white deck ended up with it. I was actually looking up earlier like <laughs> if Mirage Mirror could become a Pride Sovereign, and then also <laughs> this is back when I thought Mirage Mirror could you know activate multiple times a turn. I'm like, can I make it a planes first? Tap it. First? <laughs> But then it would be Taft. I know. Like, I, I, want, I mean, I, I, was, I didn't put that on three. I was just like, I was literally thinking that scenario. So I guess I, I didn't know that you had this card. But, um, yeah. yeah. That's funny because you've opened it. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, it was in my, it was in my um, second pack. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to cut the stream or the, the video there. Thank you for uh, a, a thrilling and interesting finals. Um, congratulations. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations, Taylor. You that's are... Um, uh, you are impeccable. Uh, you do. You're the people's champ today. You're the people's champ. Punch, punch, punches like a freight train. Um, it's funny, the second time I faced Taylor in the finals, uh, well, uh, always playing a green white deck. Your exert, tr- know, your exert triggers are impeccable. You got, you got your travel prep redemption for sure. Alright, guys, uh, thanks again, and we'll see thanks. you, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.